Next, I will explain to you the specific crochet method of foot flower pot cactus. Please see my demonstration below. Let's dive into the detailed crochet method for a potted cactus with a footed pot using yellow pink and skin colored yarn with a 3.0 mm crochet hook. First, we start with a magic ring using the yellow pink yarn. Pay attention to my crocheting technique. Hold the end of the yarn, wrap it around your little finger, then pull it over your index finger and wrap it around once more. Like me, wrap it around your middle finger, making sure the two strands of yarn on the middle finger are level. Press down with your thumb. Insert the hook into the first loop. Hook the yarn and pull through. This completes our magic ring. For the first round, we crochet 8 single crochet stitches, resulting in a total of 8 stitches. Make a chain stitch, wrap the yarn around the hook, and pull through the loop on the hook. Hold the loop on the hook. Insert the hook close to your finger. Hook the yarn from above and pull through. There are two loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook again and pull through both loops at once. This completes one single crochet stitch. Place a stitch marker in the first stitch. Then continue to crochet the second stitch. The third stitch. Complete the rest of the round following the same steps. After eight single crochets, remove the loop from your finger, tighten the short end of the yarn, and shape it into a circle. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch at the marker's position. Notice how the hook is inserted into the loop. The yarn is wrapped around the hook and then pull through all loops on the hook. Completing a slip stitch. This ends the first round. For subsequent rounds, the technique for starting a magic ring and placing a stitch marker at the beginning of each round after the first single crochet remains the same and won't be repeated here. Now, let's crochet the second round. The second round consists of eight single crochet increase stitches, making a total of 16 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet in the first stitch. Then crochet another single crochet in the same stitch. Completing a single crochet increase. I'll demonstrate another set for you. Please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round. Next, we crochet the third round. The third round consists of one single crochet and one single crochet increase per set, completing a total of eight sets, resulting in 24 stitches. Let's start. First, make a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet. Then a single crochet increase. I'll demonstrate another set. And then please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round. For the fourth round, we crochet three single crochets and one single crochet increase per set, completing a total of six sets, resulting in 30 stitches. Let's begin. First, make a chain stitch. Crochet three single crochets.
then one single crochet increase. I'll demonstrate another set. And then please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round. Next, we crochet the fifth round. The fifth round consists of two single crochets, one single crochet increase, and then two more single crochets as one set, completing a total of six sets. This results in 36 stitches. Let's start. First, make a chain stitch. Crochet two single crochets. Then one single crochet increase. And two more single crochets. I'll demonstrate another set. And then please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round. Now, let's crochet the sixth round. The sixth round consists of five single crochets and one single crochet increase per set, completing a total of six sets, resulting in 42 stitches. Let's begin. First, make a chain stitch. Crochet five single crochets. Then one single crochet increase. I'll demonstrate another set. And then please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round. Next, we crochet the seventh round. The seventh round consists of 42 back loop only a blow, single crochets, resulting in 42 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet a single crochet in the back loop. To identify the back loop, note that a complete stitch looks like a V shape. We crochet into the half of the V that is farther from us. Crochet a single crochet in this manner, and I'll demonstrate again. Crochet all stitches in the back loop only. Complete the round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round. For the eighth round, 
we crochet 42 single crochets without any increases or decreases, resulting in 42 stitches. Let's start. First, make a chain stitch. Crochet 1 single crochet. Then another. And continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this completes the round.